Hey guys, it's Jason from Newmark. Today we're talking about the MIDI editor software that comes with the Newmark Orbit. What it can do is it can change all the MIDI values as well as the colors from your computer and you can send that information directly to the Newmark Orbit. Depending on your performance software, you can use the Orbit MIDI editor to optimize and customize your workflow. Inside the editor software, we can see we have the Orbit laid out and we can change the value of any of these pads, the virtual knobs, or the two accelerometers on the top. In the bottom here we have our manage section where we can load, save, retrieve, and send. Now retrieve means we're going to pull all the information from the orbit itself into the software. So let's do that now. You can see that it pulled all of my colors and my values into the software. Now we can change the color of any of these pads by selecting one and choosing a different color from the bottom. So let's change a few here. And then what we need to do is to send this to the controller before these are finalized. So you click send, and now we can see on the orbit that the colors are also sent. In the editor, we can also change the channel and the note and the mode type of the pad. So here we can select from 127 different values and 16 different channels, momentary, which is just hold the button for a moment, let go and it's turned off, or toggle, which is press the button once, it's on until you press the button again and the value is turned off. And again, once we change these values, nothing is actually sent to the hardware until we click send. You can also, inside the software, choose ascend. Ascend will choose this first value here and ascend that value to the rest of the pads. So let's start this on note. 30, and we want to ascend just the note across all 16 pads below that point, and click OK. And so now inside the software you can see that 30, 31, 32, 33, and so on are sent across all the pads. You can also ascend the channel value across all 16 pads. You can load preset mappings and save them once you've finished with your edit. So let's give this mapping a name. Let's save this one. Orbit. This way you can recall it again at a different time, or depending on the software, you might want different versions of the Orbit software mapping file. You can also change the value of any of the knobs. Click on K1 through K4 to select your knob, and again you have your CC value and the channel you want to set it to, and then your interaction mode. Interactions are a little different for a knob type. We can choose between absolute and relative. So let's set this K1 knob to relative, and K2, we'll leave it absolute to see the difference. Again, we'll click send to send this to the hardware. Now you can see on K1, we have a relative, which acts just like an endless encoder. K2 is our absolute from 0 to 127. Now that we have all these colors assigned to the pads, we can reset it back to the factory conditions if we wanted to. In order to do this, we need to put the unit into maintenance mode. So power it off, hold down pad bank button 1 and 4, and power on. You'll notice now that pad bank buttons 1 through 4 are flashing. And to clear everything, this is going to clear your MIDI and your LEDs back to the factory settings. You're going to hold down this top pad here, and then press the first pad. And you also just want to turn it off and turn it on again, just to make sure these settings took effect. And you can see now that all the pad banks are clear, and everything's back to its factory settings. You can also assign colors from the Newmark Orbit itself. And to do that, just select the pad bank you want to use, press and hold that button for five seconds, and then press one of the top bumpers. You see now that K1 and K4 are flashing, we can go ahead and choose our pads we want to assign colors to. And you can use the top bumpers to cycle between the colors. Once you find a color that you want to use, go ahead and press that same pad bank button again, and then press the top bumper. And now to assign a second color, go ahead and press the pad bank button again for five seconds, and then a top bumper. K1 through K4 will flash. Choose the pads, and cycle to find our color. And again, press down the pad bank button and the top bumper to confirm. And that's how you assign colors to the orbit itself without using the MIDI editor. Thanks for checking out the overview of the MIDI editor software. Again, you can do pretty much anything, change any value, any color from the software, and you can also change the colors from the orbit itself. 
So be sure to check out newmark.com forward slash ozone for more videos, mappings, and information about the controller itself. Thank you.